Hi everybody, welcome to 12 Days of Christmas. Here's another installment. Okay, what we're gonna be making now is, I think everybody's made these before. I know my daughter has, where they use the pretzels. Oh, here we go. Where they use the pretzels and the caramels and the pecans and they put it in the oven blah 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 melt the caramel a little then put the pecan on it but i'm going to be doing a variation of those kinds of things yeah candy is it maybe i don't know i don't know if it's considered candy so here i have the um a baking tray like a cookie tray i lined it with parchment paper and i'm going to take out some of these pretzels we only want the ones that are, you know, whole. We don't want any broken ones. This one here, this looks kind of, nah, no good. So you don't want the broken ones. I mean, I guess you could use them, but I'm not going to. Although this, this one here has a little chip off of it, but that's okay. We're going to use it anyway. And I'm just lining this like so. I'm going to bring it closer for you in a minute. Here's another one. Not too bad. All right. So I have um, trays back here that I'm going to be filling. All right. So what I have here are Rolos. Most, most of this you can get at the Dollar Tree. So you can make this like super cheap, right? And this is the Rolos that I unwrapped. Okay. Let me get this closer. And I'm going to be putting a Rolo on these pretzels. Now I got the square pretzels. These are the butter. The butter flavored ones. Yeah, that's the ones I got. So I got like 15 Rolos in a package, you know, the small bags right here. I didn't open up this bag yet, but that's the bag that you can get it from the Dollar Tree. Okay, so I'm going to do some with the Rolos on it. Now, I have these, which we're going to do. These are the Peppermint Candy Cane Kisses, Hershey Kisses. And let me undo some of these. I'll show you what these look like. Right here. That's what they look like. And we're going to be putting these on. I don't know if these will melt faster than the Rolos, but we're going to find out. Like I said, my daughter's made these, but I've never, I've never done them before. Super easy, I guess, if, if it comes out right. We'll see. So I'm going to do like four of these just to see how it melts, right? So the first tray is going to be a try me tray. See how long it takes for all this. This I got at the Dollar Tree. These are the Reese's Minis unwrapped right here. So these are like mini peanut butter cups, but wrapped in white chocolate. So we're going to be putting these on some of these, like so. Let me move this out of the way. This is all garbage. I'll throw back there. There, can you see it, I hope? All right. So let's get these on. I'm preheating the oven to 350. It's still preheating. So, all right. So I got like six of those, right? All right. Um, let's see. I'll do a couple more of the caramel and a couple more of the peppermint. And we'll see. See how this works. Also, what I got here is peanut M&Ms. I got chopped pecans that you can get from the Dollar Tree. 
I got regular M&M's. I got the Christmas colors, the red and green. The same with the peanut. I got the red and green. Okay? All right. And I have some cupcake liners. This has Santa on it and all that. Oh, there it is. So that's telling me that the oven is ready. Let me get another one of these on there. And we use two more of the one chocolate and one white. Okay. So let's get these in the oven. I don't know how long they go in for. We're going to watch them and we're going to see. All right. So let me get this in my oven. I got it at 350. I'm going to put my oven light on and I'm going to watch them. We'll see how long. I'll leave it in for like a minute and then we'll check it. Okay, so let me get out some of these because you, when it comes out, you know, they're going to be ooey gooey, some of them. So you want to have this stuff ready. So I'm going to put some of these red and green M&Ms, peanut, the peanut M&Ms, right? I'm going to open up these um, chopped pecans. So, everything will be ready. Yeah. Like I said, I'm going to do it for a minute and see where we're at. Uh, like I said, I've never made these before. So, and I didn't even ask my daughter how long you leave them in for either. I didn't look it up. I just said, oh, I'm going to try putting different stuff on it. See what it tastes like. You know, different. Something different. Yeah. So... So far, they're not doing anything. I don't know if the oven should be up higher or not, but we're going to wait and we're going to see how this comes out. Yeah. So let me get some of this trash off here. Put it back here. I did get these containers from the Dollar Tree right here that I'm going to be putting, you know, putting them in. Some of them right here i got this one here remember this that i hauled yeah so we're going to be using those and i got another pecan dollar you know at the dollar tree well most of you now are paying a dollar 25 i know but so this is super easy if it comes out <laughs> let's just say that right hold on let me check up let me check up uh i don't know guys all right, the white ones are done. My chocolate ones are not. The, the white chocolate peanut butter ones are done. So let's do this, shall we? Hold on, let me get rid of some of this stuff. Put it over here. Let's do this. Um, I'm going to take those out. I should have had a, a plate here, too. Hold on. I'm going to go get a plate so we can put it on. Because those are finishing before any of these other ones. So I got a plate. We're going to pull them out of the oven. And we're going to see what's going on here. There we go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let me get these out. All right, so the, the peanut butter, see it? And the, the yeah, they're, they're melted enough, guys. So it was like a minute, you know? All depends on your oven, like I say, too. So for these white peanut, you know, Reese's, I'm going to stick. Oh, my hands are shaking. I'm so nervous. Let's see. I'm going to press, whoops, these in the white chocolate. This is the peanut because these are the Reese's peanut ones, right? So I'm trying to work quick here. Some of them are on the side. Some are squished. Let's see. If I can squish this down. All right. Now we have the chocolate Rolos. That's the caramel ones. I think I'm going to put... Uh, 
pecan on these. Like stick them up like this. Oh yeah, one minute guys, one minute. Look at this. And we have the peppermint ones, right? So we're putting pecans in here. I'm not chopping the pecans, I'm leaving them as I'm, as I'm pulling them out of the bag. Yeah. And just sticking them in the middle of the Rolo ones. <laughs> okay, now we have the peppermint. Oh, the peppermint. All right, the peppermint, I want to use the chocolate. Let's use um, the chocolate, the regular M&Ms. That's what I mean. But the Christmas colors, right? You can lay them flat or dip them in there. Oh, yeah, one minute, guys. That's all it took. And this is all I can handle on this. Ooh, I got it on me. Okay, uh, let me get a piece of paper towel. All right, so we're gonna let these sit up. I'm gonna get them off of this baking sheet if I can without getting burnt. Let's see, uh, let me use this. Ah, this ain't working either. Hold on. Let's try this. Yeah. Oh, well, maybe not. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, come on, bear with me. Yeah, there's one. Oh, I, how do you get these out easy? That's what I want to know. I'm just going to... Do it here. You see me shaking? Oh my gosh. My hand's like shaking. I'm so nervous. Like I said, I never made these before, so. Oh, that one don't have an m, &M. Let's give it an m, m Right here. It's got, oh, the, the peppermint ones are melting like all over. I'm gonna, I'll show you a close up. Yeah, the best way to get them is with your hands, guys. Just be careful you don't get burnt. Because, yeah, that one I kind of messed up. And have a paper towel because you're going to be getting chocolate on you. So I'm just putting them over here to cool. And I'll show you. When it cools, we're gonna try it. We're gonna try the combinations and see what's good combination and what's not. This one just melted like all over. I wonder if it's hot. That's a Rolo with the um, pecan. Mmm, that one's good. Yes. The Rolo with the pecan is good. So we tried that. Mmm, very good. And then when these cool down, ah, don't do that. What I think would be better, I'll show you. Because these are going to slide off if you don't. Oh, this has two M&Ms on it. All right. So, let these cool. That's what they look like. They're cute. Now, the butter, um... Why am I having our trouble, trouble with this? The butter snacks are good. It takes away a lot of the sweetness, you know, from uh, the candy. So we're going to line some more. Only a minute. 350 in my oven anyway. So... 
All right, I'm gonna do these. You can make a whole bunch. There's a lot in that bag. Here's some more Rolos. Three. Um, a mini white ones. Mm. We gotta try that one. We'll make some of them. Let's try one. Uh... I'm going to try this one. Now, this is the Reese's with the white chocolate and a peanut M&M on top. So, let's try this one. Mmm. Mmm. Yes. Mmm. I like that. Mm-hmm. I like the peanut. Yep. I do. And then I'm going to try the peppermint. I got one there that we're going to try. I'm going to drink the water. I like the Reese's peanut butter. If you get the regular Reese's peanut butter cups, mini ones, mm, with the chocolate and then put the peanut, yes, that would be really, really good. Really good. All right. So, so far that's my favorite is the peanut butter one. All right, let's get that on there. Now here's the peppermint. Now these aren't set yet, they're still wet. But there's the peppermint with the M&M on top. Hmm. Different. Not my favorite. Mm -mm. But it gives you the minty. Mm. You know what I'm thinking? What if you put like the little York peppermint patty on top of that to give it some chocolate? Mm. I bet that would be good. Yeah, so we have a few more to fill up over here. Um, oh, I didn't try these, guys. These are the regular chocolate Reese's right here. I forgot to show you. I got a big bag of these. Big bag of the Hershey Kisses. So let's do some of these. I bet this will be good. And like I said, super easy. Keep them in a cool place, you know, for it to set. Yeah. Let them get hard. Maybe even the refrigerator for a minute. You could probably do that. <clears throat> oh, I see. I bet this is going to be good. The peppermint's okay. If you like peppermint, you'll like it. Yeah, I don't know. Mocha peppermint. I wonder. Now see, I'm trying all different things here. Now that takes the the peppermint ones take up most of the um. What do you call it? But I'm gonna try and put two on there, and see if they'll melt together. I wonder if I could do it like this. Nah. I'm just going to put two on there. I want to see what happens when I do that. Yeah. <laughs> the kids can help you with this. This is super easy, right? Let them make their own combination of stuff. Yes. 
Well, other than getting them out of the pan, I think I did okay for the first time. Like I said, might be just like caramel and, and nuts, you know? Try different variations like I'm doing here. I think it's a cool idea. Yeah. So I'm going to put these in for a minute right here. Can you see that one? I got a double. I got two on one. Let's see how that comes out. I don't know. So I'm looking at the clock. Let's put these in. Okay, one minute, one minute. I'm gonna throw these in the refrigerator. Yup. And uh, get them cold. And then, I think they'll be good cold. Yeah, I do. Clean up this mess. And once they get cold, we're gonna wrap, we're gonna put some, look how cute, in here. We're gonna use some of these, not all of them. Let me put half of them back. They have a tree on the bottom. I have smaller ones of these, but I didn't unpack them yet. They're with my Christmas stuff. Yeah, I know. I still got a lot of Christmas stuff that I didn't unpack. I do have the tree up, but it's not really decorated. <laughs> Is anybody else there with me? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. So anyway. Oh, I think the minute is up. Let me check. Yeah, I think that'll work. I think it'll work. So let's get these out. We'll make room. All righty, here we go. Now, can you see it? Now on the chocolate, the plain chocolate, I want to put, oh, I have some over here. The Hershey Kiss, I want to put a peanut. Come on. Oh, it's all right if it's on the side. That's what I'm going to tell myself. <laughs> and I want to put, put these... They're just soft enough on the top, but they're still, um, you know, done in the middle. Firm, kind of firm. Yeah, but just enough to hold it. Now, the peanut butter ones, let's do the plain chocolate this time on the peanut butter. We'll do the plain Yep. And we'll do the plain M&Ms on the peppermint. I think that'll be good. Did I do that on the peppermint? I don't know if I did it. Did that. But we'll do plain. There's the double decker one. Oh, I should have got a green one on there. Well, I can still do that. And put one in the middle. And we'll do plain. Let's use some of these pecans. Let's do the pecans with the um, peanut butter one. Let's stick them in there. There's one over here. You can't forget. And then a pecan in the caramel. And there we go. All right. Now, let's get the other ones out of the refrigerator. Let me rinse my hands, guys. This is a very... Very 
very sticky. Yeah. So yeah, the kids can help you design what they want to put on there. You got all your Christmas colors going, right? Here they are, a little hardened up. I'm going to use a paper plate here. And, yeah, won't you let them sit on here? It gets cool enough where you can actually pick them up. There's the double-decker one. Let me show you. With three peanuts. <laughs> That's a special one. When it hardens, it'll all stick together. Yeah. So I like this idea. I like the idea of mix and match. Different flavor combinations. If you can think of any other flavor combinations, let me know in the comments below. I'm curious. And do you make them with different flavor combinations or do you do it just the traditional way? You know, with the pecans and the caramel. Yeah, I'm curious as to know. So, let's get these on here. And then I'll show you with the cool ones what we're gonna do. I only got a few more to put on here, but I wanna get them off this hot pan so they can start cooling. Yeah, so one minute, guys. That's all I did it for, one minute. All right, see, I can even touch the pan. I'm gonna put that back there for now. All right, so this is what we got going. Let me show you. Aren't they pretty? Oh my gosh, they look so, so pretty. Look at that. Yes. And then, like I said, I have the little cupcake holders, but I didn't pull them out. So let me use one of these, right? I hope this is one. Oh, it feels thick. Oh, all right. So I'm going to use one holder, and I'm going to put... A chocolate, a peanut butter, and this one, like that. Whoops. Let me show you a close-up. I don't know. That's not working because they're not set, but <laughs> you get the idea, right? Yeah, you get the idea. Okay, guys, so I got to let these set more. I got to let them set. Make sure that they're firm before you decide to, like, pack them up. Yeah, because, see, they're still very, very wet. All right. So that's it for another installment of 12 Days of Christmas. We're getting down there, guys. We're getting down there. So this is super easy to do. Like I said, let me know in the comments what combinations you would try. If you do do all the combinations, I'd like to know. Yeah, so let's take one last look at it. Thank you everyone for watching. Stay safe out there. All right, guys, stay safe. Yeah, and until next time, bye now.